I'm Leon Sandler and I'm the executive director of the Deshpande Center um, at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And this has been a great week here um, at the Deshpande Foundation Development Dialogue. Um, it's my first visit to Ind India and I've loved uh, meeting all the people, uh, seeing all the sights, the sounds and uh, the stimulation um, of the local economy here and of, of everything that's going on. One of the most memorable things, in fact, here are the children. So wherever we went, there were lots of children who were very excited to see us smiling, very interested in learning what was going on. Um, at the conference itself, we also had lots of discussions with students. Students came up to me all the time. They had questions. They wanted to discuss things. Um, we did a panel with the students. Again, lots of questions. There is a thirst for knowledge. They want to learn. They want to um, really figure out how they can advance in the world and what they can do. So uh, again, tremendous, tremendous energy here at the conference. We also did um, field visits uh, and some of the places I saw that were incredibly impressive was the Ashe Patra uh, kitchen. Um, what struck me, and you know people use the word kitchen, I would say that place, it's a food factory. It's run like a factory. Uh, it could be a food factory anywhere. Um, but unlike a normal factory, there was a sense of mission and dedication by the people who work there about what they're doing, how they're helping um, over a million children a day. Um, the same thing happened when we went out into the field and we looked at, it was a malnutrition program for children who um, also in, in, from birth to maybe four years old, um, field workers were going out, um, helping them. We went into the village. We spoke to the villagers. I asked questions of the kids. I asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? It was impressive. Here you had parents who are illiterate, and some of these little boys who are, you know, eight, nine years old, said, one of them said, I want to be a scientist. I want to be in the army. Um, and, and I think there's a saying which says, um, if you want to feel the present, touch a flower. If you want to feel the past, touch a stone. But if you want to feel the future, touch a child. And that's what I see here. The future is the children, and there are all these activities that are going on to really help the children. Uh, even the, the program, which is the Save a Mother program, um, that's going on to really help um, mothers. Again, that has a direct impact on their kids because the mothers have the kids. Um, the program for micro entrepreneurs, which I'm sure I'll pronounce incorrectly, the Nava Diami program. Um, here you have people who, who have small businesses. They're taught skills. They're taught how to run their businesses. They can scale them. It's at a micro level, but that lets them employ people in their village. It lets them provide for their families. Um, and again, ultimately, what is this going to help? It's going to help the children, and the children are the future. So um, everybody we've met here has been incredibly friendly. I, I have to hand it to the Deshpande Foundation. Uh, our transport arrived when it should have. We were brought backwards and forwards. Um, people took great care of us. I, I have um, enjoyed my stay here thoroughly. I, I look forward uh, to many more of these development dialogues and uh, wish everybody great success. And oh, I, I should not forget, just almost forgot, uh, spoke to a lot of students who are doing the four-month training program. Um, and you could again feel the enthusiasm and the energy of these students um, who are looking to really move forward. And it's great what the foundation is going to do with the new campus training 5,000 uh, students a year. So I think this is um, now the foundation has been around uh, in India probably about 10 years. So I would describe this. This is not, um, this is sort of the end of the beginning. And it is the beginning of the next stage in the foundation's growth. And thank you all for having me here. So I think, um, I think scaling effectively, there's no real magic to it. 
Uh, it's like a lot of other things. You have to do the basics right. So if you're going to scale, whether it's a non-profit or a for-profit, you have to have an organization that is well run. You understand the fundamentals. And then once you have that down, you can figure out how do we double it? How do we treble it? It's going to be different. But if the fundamentals aren't there, you cannot just scale. So I think with any of these things, um, if you took the program, even if it was the foundations program, to train um, these college students who finished college, you can't just go to 5,000. First you start with 50, then you go to 300, because you have to figure out how do you do it right? Do you have the processes in place? Do you have the procedures? Do you have the management there to run it? Then you can start to replicate it. And maybe it's replicated. In some cases, it's a module. Uh, the, 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 the food kitchens. You don't try and build a food kitchen to serve one and a half million, but you figure out, okay, we can build one that does maybe 100,000 people, 150,000. Now we just replicate it. There are other cases where you take the same thing and you build something that's just one organization that's bigger. The development dialogue, it is a forum where people who are trying to make a difference and who have a lot of energy and, and purpose and motivation to do that get together and meet with each other and discuss topics of interest to them.